All right, good morning, guys. Today's project is a little different. Um, <laughs> it is 5.45 in the morning. I'm at 7-Eleven. Uh, today, I'm going to tackle a different project. Um, my friend Tina, the, the catalytic converter got stolen from her Prius. So, I am going to <clears throat> attempt to change the catalytic converter on her Prius. We did order a new one from eBay. And this was the next video you're going to see is... Um, when she first told me about it and I went to assess the situation. All right guys, um, <laughs> today's project, uh, before I get on the rest of the projects, I need to help my uh, friend who unfortunately had their catalytic converter stolen here at the shopping center. Um, how these guys do it, I don't know. Why they do it, I do know. Um, I do know that the whole process of extracting gold from the, um, catalytic converters is quite intense and quite dangerous because of the type of chemicals you have to use to decompose the converter in order to get the gold substance out of it. Uh, I'm not going to show a, a video on how to do that. I do know how to do it, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to promote other idiots to follow me. So, um, yeah, today's project is uh, getting this car to my friend's shop so they can try to weld in a new catalytic converter. And here's the Prius that they stole the converter out of. I will, <clears throat> I'll put a video um, right now of me looking underneath the car and confirming that these crazy people did this. Um, it's pretty interesting. There's a lot of weird people in the world today. All right, guys. So. Let's get on this project. Holy shit, someone put out the catalytic converter. Mother right there to that there. Okay, so that's today's project. Some thief wants to sell the catalytic converter for drugs, so I need to change this thing and get this thing going. Lucky me. All right, welcome back to today's project. So I'm not gonna, I can't make too much noise. It's six o'clock in the morning, but we are changing the uh, catalytic converter on, I don't know what year this is, maybe a 2007 or so. Prius. So let's see. We did order. We did order the catalytic converter, and I'll show you guys what's in the box. All right, let's take a look. <clears throat> um, I don't know what this is. Could be product support, I don't know. Oh, nice. So th these are the springs, the screws, hardware, exhaust clamp, and the donut looking thing. Here it is. I have no idea on the fitment. I guess I'll find out when we start jacking things up. Okay, so. Uh, there's some interesting little writings here or engravings. I don't know what you want to call it. All right, so let me get this thing jacked up in the air. And then um, luckily, I think that these cut the catalytic converter uh, wires. So I'll just see if I can pull out the old wires and plug in a new one, um, put in the bolts and 
do the back half and that should be it. All right, let's see if it works. Okay, so this particular kit did come with a O2 sensor. Four wire, I mean, it looks okay. Um, could be made in China, I have no idea. I don't know what this is. Instructions, ah yeah, let's, uh, let's just file the instructions away. All right. Okay, so um, let me jack up the car and then uh, we'll get started. All right, so to add more problems, I forgot my jack stands. Even though I have a three ton jack, uh, just resting it on the jack is the most stupidest thing I have ever done. Uh, yeah, safety man. Um, but we're gonna have to. So if I upload this video, that means that I did not get crushed and killed, uh, which is a good thing. So gotta do what we gotta do. So it looks like the first thing I'm gonna have to do is um, lift the converter. I have to put it up into place, um, bolt it to the front of the exhaust manifold, then mark where I'm gonna have to cut. It does come longer so you can cut, uh, cut the fit. So this piece, we're gonna have to cut the fit this and that's what I'm gonna do first. <laughs> okay, under the car without jack stands. We gotta make this quick. Um, let's see, that's not good. Uh, I'm not sure if we can do this. On the other side. Okay, so I might be able to just pull out the wire from here. That goes up there. And the exhaust manifold is there. Okay. Oh, not easy, not fun. Um, I'm gonna set the video on time lapse. Um, Hopefully this works out. See you guys in a little bit. All right, this is pretty fun. Trying to talk to you guys uh, on my back um, under the car, hoping the jack will not give out and crush me to death. But it appears here, see this? The distance between the end of the catalytic converter to there. So it would appear that when the thieves cut the catalytic converter they did not, they cut too much so please if you're gonna steal these things cut a little further you know make, make things easier for the next guy um i have to figure out how i'm gonna mount this thing you're supposed to be able to uh, put the tube exhaust tube from the cali from the new catalytic converter it should slip on the problem is that i do not have enough length like i said the thieves did not do me a favor and cut further back so please please out there cut further back make things easier for the next guy ah. it's not fun being 250 pounds under here <laughs> Alright, so take your guys' time. Um, it's extremely hard to get into this small little space. What you're gonna have to do is take the bolt. Oh, geez, there it goes. <laughs> take the bolt, put the spring here, put the bolt through the spring like that. 
and it's held in, held in with tension so you need to somehow get up there put the bolt through and uh, tighten it down so let me fight with this uh, fight with this and have some wonderful color colorful words to say to it and we'll get back when I'm done okay so here's the issue I'm having it was easier to just unbolt the two bolts at the back of the exhaust system um, here's the problem so the company gives you an extra long piece and you're supposed to cut it to, uh, to length the problem is the thieves cut too far back if they had cut just an inch further then I could have connected it um, also too there's some slag so once I file off the slag, it may fit. I'll push the whole exhaust forward, clamp that thing down, and that should be it. So uh, let me do some filing and then we'll get back underneath the car. So after some filing, um, it does fit. And the kit provides a exhaust clamp, so that should work. Um, I'm gonna try to put it together as best as I can. Pull the rear section all the way forward to try to give me some space. And yeah, <laughs> easier said than done. All right, let's check out the rest. Oh my god. Okay, so after fighting with this thing for about 20 minutes, I finally got it. And it looks like that. On both sides. Alright, next we need to try to fight with this thing. So I need to somehow align or force um, this guy here, the top pipe, into the bottom one. So let me see if I can do that. Something like this. Whoa, wait, where's my light? Ow. like that then I'm just gonna put the exhaust clamp on put the hanger back in and that should be it okay so I got everything in oh I forgot to put the clamp on jeez but anyway I'm gonna put the O2 sensor back in where is it where is it there Tighten this guy down, then stick it through here with the grommet. And this goes into the engine bay, uh, back into the footwell. And just stick it all up in there. Push the rubber grommet on. And it is almost time for us to try to do the second part of this project, uh, making the uh, deep fried Oreos. Okay, that's in. Whew. I'm just going to connect the inside and start the car, test for leaks and sell this thing so if anybody wants to buy it 
it's for sale. New catalytic converter. All right, so I was able to fight with it and I got the bolts in there and there. All right, that was a lot of fun. A lot of um, colorful words from me. Um, I did screw in the uh, O2 sensor, push the wire through the grommet, which is going into a passenger footwell. And here we slipped this piece in to here. He slipped the, I think this is a resonator, slipped it into the uh, pipe from the calic converter, came with a set of these, um, I guess cheap old kind of exhaust clamps. I'm gonna turn it sideways a little like this, and that's gonna allow uh, the underneath of the car to be somewhat flat. That way it's not getting uh, hung up on anything. All right, I just have to go inside the engine, um, inside the passenger side footwell, connect the O2 sensor, start it up, and give it a test. All right, let's see what happens. Now we're inside the passenger um, side. And here it is. This is the O2 sensor I brought up from underneath. We're gonna plug it in to there. Trying to do this one-handed is quite fun. Oh yeah. All right, that guy is in. Put the floor back on and start the car. All right, there you have it. It's on. Nice and quiet. All right, perfect. Everything works out good. Um, you might smell a little funny smell for a little while, and that's because of the new um, converter that's burning on there. All right, that's it. The Prius project is done. The exhaust fitment was pretty good. Um, yeah, it was pretty darn good for eBay stuff. Uh, came with the gaskets, the two screws, and the two spring spacers, washers, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, everything worked out good. Um, that's it for this one. Time to play some Call of Duty Mobile. And just like that, the Prius project is done. I am so happy to be <laughs> done with this car. All right, um, I'll see you guys on the next project again. Thank you everyone for sticking around and checking this out. Hopefully this might help someone that has a Prius, but if you do, get rid of your Prius. See you guys.